what we're trying to do is take a stream that really never needed to be piped, where no construction occurred, and bring that stream back to the, the surface. We are in northwest Washington, D.C. We're about three miles from the White House. We're about a mile from the border of Maryland. The idea back in the distant, not so distant past actually, was that you know you had to get rid of stormwater and you had to get rid of the potential for flooding and people didn't really understand about stream ecology or they didn't really consider that to be that important. So in our urban areas and in the suburbs, a lot of streams were just put into pipes. They just buried them, put them into pipes. And this fundamentally altered the way the stream works and it made it not work very well. When we build these projects, we start by filling the channel with that clean sand. We use that as the working platform, as the construction haul road. And that haul road itself doubles as the area where the stream bed will eventually be. So we start at the downstream end where the water flows to and build structures moving upstream to the end of the project. And then once we get to the end of the project, will break open the pipe and the water will begin to flow through the whole project. A conventional approach to this kind of restoration would be to uh, cut the banks back and disturb a lot of the riparian zone. This approach is called regenerative stream channels and they're quite different than that old approach in that they are bent on spreading the water out to slow it down and filter it through sands and gravels. It's not gonna be exactly like it was 90, 100 years ago. And so what we're trying to do is make it as natural a system as we can. And so we're doing adaptive management. We'll be doing tweaking here and there for about three to five years after the project is completed to make changes to either take a little less stormwater in or change the structures a little bit to make sure that everything is flowing smoothly and that we don't have any erosion problems, we don't have any flooding problems. Piping of streams is something that happens across the world and it's not DC specific. We do have a lot of streams that have been piped. Unfortunately, only a few streams have been daylighted. You know, once they're buried, they oftentimes are gone forever. 